If you don't take action, then the greatest tool in the world is completely useless to you. In your interviewing process, you asking your interviewees to do a Myers Briggs test. You talk about how everyone in the company has already done. Why do you get everyone to do it? How do you use the results of that? Yeah, Myers Briggs. Jason, have you done one before? Uh, yeah, back in high school. Okay, do you remember what you were? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, I, I'm an INTP. Now, here's the thing with Myers Briggs. If you have never gotten into Myers Briggs, if you don't know anything about it, you have no idea what INTP means, and that's totally cool. Basically, it's a personality profile. The reason I like Myers Briggs is there's a free test at 16personalities.com. What it does is it just starts to help you get a sense of the way people think, where they get their energy from, uh, the way they process information, the way they communicate, and what's important to them. And so if as a team, if you're building up your team, and Jason, if I knew what you were and you knew what I was, and you can change your communication style, you can change your approach based on those things. And more importantly, you can know your strengths and weaknesses. So any of these tools are really only as good as you're able to use it within the team. And so the reason why I like Myers-Briggs is it helps you figure out very, very quickly your strengths and weaknesses for the different team members. And then what you can do is you can start to pair team members together based off of what type of person they are. Now, none of these things are scientific, but what it comes down to is if I know that I'm a certain type of worker and that a team member is a different type of worker, I can bring on people who meld with me really, really well and try and avoid people who I find frustrating. And the only way you're able to do that is by knowing who you are and knowing who your team members are and then having that conversation. In a practical sense, you know, like how can knowing more about yourself help you? For me, knowing that I'm an introvert and that I'm a thinker and that I'm a direct with people and I'm a little bit insensitive and I'm not maybe the best people person in the world means that, you know, after all these years of running my company, when I looked at myself as a manager and as a people leader, I'm really not that great at it. I'm not really that great at people. I'm really not that great at process. I'm not really giving people the time that they need. I'm not really giving company the culture that it needs. And so I was failing my team as a leader. Just knowing my personality profile and my Myers-Briggs makeup, I was able to see my shortfalls. I was able to see the areas that I needed work. And then I was able to look within my team at people who have an opposite uh, profile to me. You know, if I'm the yin, who's my yang? If I'm an introvert, who's the extrovert? If I'm a thinker, who's the feeler? And so being able to know that and have that tool only comes from being self-aware. And ultimately what it meant for me was when I realized that I was holding the company back, that I wasn't being the leader that I needed to be, I needed to go out and find someone who could offer that and do those things. So I looked at my team and I thought, I'm an introvert and I'm a thinker, who's an extrovert and a feeler? You know, I'm intuitive and perceptive, who's the person who's gonna be the people leader and really be able to bring on and nurture the team and, and really give the team what it needs? And so ultimately, I ended up giving the management of my company away. I ended up turning to someone on my team and saying, please be the chief operating officer, please be the team leader, please be the person who's gonna be able to help the team and the people on the team get what they need. And it all came down to the Myers-Briggs by me knowing my strengths and weaknesses and then being able to look at my team, knowing what their strengths and weaknesses are, and then find someone who's the opposite of me. So that way, paired up, we can do really amazing things. So if you ask, you know, why am I into Myers-Briggs? It's a tool, like any other tool. But what it comes down to is how you use it and then the actions you choose to take from it. If you don't take action, then the greatest tool in the world is completely useless to you. Let me know what you think about Myers-Briggs. Do the test. Let me know whether you're an INTP like I am or what you may be. And then, as always, you have to think big, you have to be bold, and you have to say yes. Yeah, but do you think my delivery is fire or do you think I just rambled? Oh, oh.